feel the anointing already. They want to go to administration, but I just feel the anointing. There are three of you, the power of God is coming on you. God is delivering your destiny. God is delivering your destiny. My God, I feel the power of God. I see, I see, I see like a cage. Cage. My God is taking you half. God is taking you half. The anointing of God is coming upon those three persons. The anointing of God is delivering you by His Spirit. Lord, let your glory, let your anointing rest upon this one. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let that place. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lose up. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your strength. Let this one be better this one. I was stood. When I tell you help them, if I feel the weight of the anointing, I will sing. I don't want to, to, to lay on something, but I feel the weight of the anointing. I tell people, the anointing is the most expensive resources of heaven. God does not release it without a purpose. Close your eyes, don't allow anybody to start. Don't allow anybody to start. Let the Spirit of the Lord rest on you. Let the Spirit of the Lord be released. In the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord. Let it be released on this one. As they serve you, Holy Ghost, release your power. Let the grip of sin destroy. Let their destiny find expression. In the name of Jesus, let their destiny find expression. Jesus, let their destiny find expression. Help me, help me, help me. Please help me. I don't want that to go. Let their destiny find expression. Let the fire of heaven rest upon this vessel right now. Don't want that to go that way. I feel the anointing coming on you stronger and stronger. Stronger than you can. Struggling, that's the mountain of God. That's the mountain. So strong. Take it! Jesus. Your destiny is to find expression. Your destiny is to find expression. Every plan and purpose of God in your life, let it manifest. Let it manifest. In the name of Jesus, let it manifest. Don't allow anybody to distract you. He came to accept Jesus. Let Jesus be revealed to you from today. Let Jesus be revealed to you. Let Jesus be revealed to you from today. Let Jesus be revealed. Let him be revealed. Let him be revealed. Let him be revealed. Let him be revealed. In Jesus' mighty name. Let him be revealed. In the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself to the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Now, open your heart. Of your eyes. As a proof of my commitment to the work of the gospel, I put in a little book, I type it my salvation experience. How it all began. I want you to go. It takes 15, 20 minutes for you to read it. Read it, and the God who reveal Himself to you, reveal Himself to you. How many of you are not member of this church? Raise your hand. Who of you are here? You are member of this church. Good. So we are member of this church. You know so. Now, it's a new beginning. Are you hearing me? It's a new beginning. It's not, no more time of pushing you. Remember, this journey is about serving Jesus. But also, it's about your destiny. As we serve him, the Bible said, he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? 
I'll put this book in your hand. As you hold it, your destiny will find expression. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. First place. Give to them. God does not respond to your cry. He responds to your hunger. Mm. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. What is hunger? Hunger is just the satisfaction of your present state. So, are you dissatisfied? Now is the time. Are you okay like some of you? Me, I'm not okay. Are you satisfied? No problem. But for those who are dissatisfied, who said, God, I need you. As we worship God, the same glory, the same presence that I feel, I will ask God that you be lifted from me. And whoever is that person that God has released that anointing, the power of Jesus will locate that person. Amen. Are you hearing me? Can we, can we do that? Yes. I, am I allowed to go a little bit deep? Yes. Huh? Tomorrow we'll go deep. But just before I drop the pen, allow me, let's go a little bit. Uh, I, God has a plan. Yes. Praise God. Now, everyone stand up. Now, those who are serious to be praying with their strength and with their heart. Only those who are serious. Those who destiny does not matter to them, does not do like this. But some of us, we cannot pray. You hear me? That's right. This is not the time to pray, get to my prayer. There's wickedness. I remember in Port Harcourt, 2002, 2003, a young law student, so intelligently blessed that lecturers were scared of him. So every time he showed up, he corrects them. He corrects their hero. That is how intelligent this young man was. So he makes lecturers feel intimidated. Student. He take it. The devil programmed a Jezebel into his life. A Jezebel, he never knew he was a Jezebel. Out of a kind heart, he wanted to support her. And it's not everybody you support. God must lead you. Some people are demonic agents. Are you hearing me? It's not everybody you support. Hear me? Some people are evil. They use your support to fight your destiny. as many as are led God must lead you are you hearing me somebody is somebody suffering doesn't mean you just jump out now na, na Nigeria we do what about you go like do wickedness how a law student intelligently blessed this young girl came late in the program so they've done some assignment and the rest. God, young as on board, let me try to support her. He started some assisting her to do assignment so that she can meet up. He started lending her his textbook. Unknown to him, he's dealing with principality. Small station young girl. Because she's demonically loaded. Every head he was rendering, it was a spiritual transaction. The more he rendered the head, the more his intelligence decreased. The more his intelligence decreased. In taking. He said, okay, bring my textbook. So he went to meet her in her place to collect the textbook he borrowed her. 
That was the time when they were on rampage in Port Harcourt. Killings were going on, militants and the rest, and military. So out of fear, the young kid just came. He said, they are killing people in my dream. You can't go home. Just stay here. Just stay here. There was no that seems to be an innocent suggestion now. Somebody who seems to be dead. Is it not so? Unknown to him, it was a demonic trap to finally finish him. I know it because I contorted his deliverance. While he was resting, other people were still there. He didn't know that those other guys he met there, they were the subject to this small statue lady. She was commanding. She has her own army. She's commanding. According to him, while he was lying and sleeping, in the middle of the night, he, he fed somebody, putting his mouth, pumping her into his stomach through the liver. He thought he was dreaming. He was not dreaming. Lo and behold, who was the one doing it? This same girl. As she lied down, the girl put her mouth into her lady. Was pumping. Was pumping. Before he could recollect, before he could recollect, before he could come to his senses, the girl finished. Stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? It has been done. The final nail in his coffin was laid that night. There is weak evidence, brother. My sister, there are weak, there's weak evidence. Every that same time, two to three, this boy went home. He didn't know the implication of what has happened. He went home. Every two, three, every night, this girl will supernaturally appear. Appear to him. Access with him. At first, he didn't see anything wrong. Appear to him. Access with him. Supernatural. But the more this girl was having sex with him, His intelligence was dropping. His intelligence was dropping. This boy could not finish this, the program. He didn't graduate. At the time they brought him to, him, to me, they are finishing. Here, your destiny is unique. Satan will do anything to destroy it. Don't assist me. That is why you must pray. So we are going to pray tonight. Any demonic agent. Because the devil knows those who are bright to each other. We program. He knows it. They saw the star of Jesus from the east. And they were determined to destroy the star. That's some of you. The enemy has seen your star. And he's programming that brother into your life. He's giving you little, little money. And you think you are making life. You are exchanging your destiny for little one. Mm. He's programming that sister. He's satisfying you. You think you think you are exchanging your destiny. But this time, you will be more violent. Any demonic agent assigned to destroy my destiny. Whether they are already in my life or they are about to come. Lord, let your rod visit them. Amen. Let your anger visit them. Help me about to pray in the name of Jesus. My father, my and, father. Father. and I began to minister. And the hand of Jesus came down. And there was massive deliverance in that meeting. Among the massive confessions we had in that program, 
was a young lady. There were two of them. Part of God created them, picked them out. They were sisters. Witchcraft spirit sat work in them. Their uncle who was living in Lagos, who was sending them money, supporting them. They just caught up one day. They said, let's kill him. What can we say to that? How can we just stand up one day and say, let's kill him? That was, it. That was how they killed him, who said now. When the power of God came down, they were confessing. Right in this suffering, remember, I just came in for a year. And the family called me. I said, please come and pray for our party. We need to teach you very well. She said, we don't know, something is wrong, something is wrong. I went there. We began to pray. And the power of Jesus came down. And the feast that were coming out from those little children, it was here. The spirit of witchcraft was operational with them. The fathers, the parents said they will get up early morning to go and walk. They, they, they work so hard. He said, but for them to eat two square meals, it's difficult. Just only two, it's difficult. They are not seeing where the money is entering. The children said that they teach the wet, the money of the parents, that they will never see the money. How did they have witchcraft? Little children, not up to seven, eight. How? One of the uh, neighbors, a woman living the same compound. I better take off and begin to and they come home. Uh, he got to take off now. He got to take off. Ah! Baba, Mama, Baba, I better take off. Uh. Taking care, taking care. The woman took care of them. And gave them. And they were afflicting their parents. You didn't hear me so. Eh? I don't, I don't have to pray. No. Eh? No. <laughs> and you're texting with the talk, though. You'll pray one more time. Any demonic agenda to frustrate you, you will say, God, let them be destroyed. Any demonic agenda to frustrate your children, to frustrate your destiny, you will speak against that agenda. Are you ready to pray? Yes, That's the last prayer I'm going to. Hope you're not afraid.